One of the questions we hear more than almost any other is how to change SOLIDWORKS units from decimals to fractions. Find out how in this two minute tech tip. With the SOLIDWORKS document open, click the gear icon to access system options, and then click the tab for document properties. In the left column, you'll find a category for units. Here, switch the unit system to IPS if it's not already set, and then in the fractions field, set the denominator to indicate the smallest fraction increment you'd like to use. This is up to a maximum of 256. If you set the denominator to 32, for example, dimensions will register up to 30 seconds, but any dimension more precise than this will remain in decimal format. Also be aware that in some versions of SOLIDWORKS, pressing enter after inputting a fraction denominator won't register the input. So you may want to click into another field or switch option pages before confirming to make sure your fraction settings have been applied properly. There's also an option that can be accessed in the more field, allowing you to automatically round values to the nearest fraction, which is based on the fractional denominator that you set. But be very careful with this option. It only changes the displayed value of dimensions and not the actual value. So this can make it problematic for manufacturing methods like 3D printing that use the 3D model directly rather than a drawing. When applying or editing fractional dimensions, just add a space in between the integer value and the fractional value, and make sure to include a forward slash between the numerator and denominator. If you prefer, decimal values can also be used here, and the values will automatically be converted to a fractional display. This technique for displaying dimensions as fractions applies to SOLIDWORKS parts, assemblies, and drawings in the same way, but it's important to note that associated documents can feature different unit systems. So for example, despite changing the bicycle fork part file to fractional units like we did here, its associated drawing file still displays in decimal format and millimeters for that example. So it would need to be updated for consistency. If this video helped you, consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel for more CAD tips and tricks, or let us know what you'd like to learn next in the comments. If you're looking to become a certified CAD expert, make sure to visit the Solid Professor website for full length courses developed by our team of industry experts. Thanks for watching. Thank you.